Hi, I'm Andreas Baranovskis, Red Samurai Consulting. I'll be showing you today our extension for business contextual messaging implemented on top of Oracle Web Center. This extension is built as ADF Tasklow and it consumes uh, standard Web Center API, Java API, and through this API we are able to store and retrieve messages from Web Center schema. This is exactly the same API Oracle is using for activity stream and for commands uh, implemented for UCM documents. However, we are taking one step further and we are using the, uh, this API to implement business contextual messaging. For example, you are able to store messages or commands uh, against uh, purchase orders, proposal data, or even against uh, work list tasks for SOA or BPM applications. This allows to move email communication directly into enterprise system and uh, minimize uh, email communication between uh, company uh, employees. And because uh, this extension is, stand is, is ADF task law, it can be pluggable into any ADF web center portal application and uh, we are, uh, extension offers two main functionalities. One of them is new messages list. New messages list is constructed based uh, on a custom logic uh, typically implemented inside, inside customer database. So we are not showing just all new messages from the system. We are filtering and showing only those new messages that, are, that should be visible to current user based on security rules. And main component is uh, called message list and it looks quite similar as a Facebook component except that in Facebook we put messages against pictures here we put messages against business data plus uh, users are able to create uh, new topics and filter messages inside those topics outline for today demo uh, first, of course, I'll show how our, our extension works and uh, how you can uh, put and retrieve messages against business data. We'll see also uh, presence implementation and we'll be able to check if user is online or offline. Then I'll demo a simple extension for uh, user profile and profile picture upload based on Web Center API. And then we'll see standard out-of-the-box component from Web Center called People Connections. And uh, I'll demo how in Web Center portal applications we can invite and connect to other users, uh, other enterprise users from the system. Finally, we'll see how easily uh, this Red Summer extension for messaging, how easily it can be pluggable into any Web Center portal application through ADF task law uh, reference. We switch now into demo application and let's log in as a business user into our portal. We can see from the menu that uh, there is option to review new commands is available. Let's click. And here we see that uh, there is one message available for me. Uh, reference based on department name 60. So I can click here and uh, my business data is opened directly. This is a search criteria table with data. Let's uh, see what this message is about. It says uh, that purchase order was raised based on some requisition. Okay, so I can respond to this message and I can tell uh, that uh, uh, purchase order uh, for a uh, certain number was sent for processing and I can leave this message and as you can see because I'm only one user now online it shows a green status for me that I'm online and I can mark this message is not important for me anymore because I have read it 
so I can just uh, remove the star and if I would go now to new commands I'll see that I don't have any more new commands the message is gone because I mark it as red for me let's go back to departments now I see entire list of departments I may select department where I already had messages department 60 and if I would like to post another message here I can post just it straight away or I can add new topic and this topic can can be purchase order review and here I could tell that I'm monitoring purchase order with number 12. so now I'm only one user in the system but let's switch to another session and login as another user from statistics we see that already uh, we have a couple of messages in our system and let's go first to new comments and here I'll see that there are two new messages available for me I can click here on a number and I'll be able to see that user who posted answer to my original message is also online and I see that this user created another topic and I can review messages from another topic as well I can mark this message as not important for me but still one message remains important and if I click on new comments I'll see that one message gone another one stays if I go back to original session and if I switch to main view I'll see that uh, user redsum became online as indicated by present status additionally I can click on online users and it instantly refreshing and it's showing to me that currently there are two users in the system it's possible to filter messages as well if I click uh, filter option and I can type keyword for requisition press enter I'll see that my message list will be filtered and it finds a message with a keyword mentioned uh, inside the text of that message then I can click refresh and complete list will come back again let's select another department for example purchasing and here we don't have messages yet yet posted for this department and uh, there are no topics so what happens when we post just the first message let's see if topic will be created automatically for us and I can say that tomorrow is deadline for status report press command and I can see that general topic was created automatically for me this means our extension is checking if there are any new messages or no if there are no messages and uh, if the current message is the first one we are auto creating default general topic automatically for you let's switch back to department 60 and here 
the current user have posted a message, reply to original message, and if the message was posted by the current user, then we have functionality to remove this message. Uh, also, uh, let's uh, uh, let's mark the previous message as important one. So as you can see, this option to mark as a message as not important and uh, mark it back as important. And once this action happens, if I go to new comments, the message is appearing in a new comments list again. Let's open connections gallery. And here under profile section, we have a Red Samurai extension for user profile picture. And this uh, extension is working completely on Web Center API. Just we were not using the original user profile task flow from Web Center in order to optimize performance and use only those features that we exactly need. Then under connections, we have uh, out of the box standard Web Center component called People Connections. And this component allows to connect to another business users from the system and have direct communication without uh, without being attached to a certain business context and as we saw uh, previously. I can click on invite and manage connections here. Uh, there is option to find, find and invite people. Let's search for the users in the system and we can see that there are three users available and those users are retrieved from WebLogic Security Provider. So if uh, you connect your WebLogic Security Provider to Active Directory, for example, then all the users, uh, enterprise users from Active Directory will be available here and we will be able to connect to those users and invite them. So let me invite the user. Uh, say that I would like to add you as my connection, fine. So it says that invitation was pending. Now, and uh, if I go back from standard Web Center activity stream, I'll see that uh, I, I, was, I invited another user to be my connection. While it works fine, uh, we can go back to departments and we can see if there was no new message posted here, not yet. And let me repeat myself one more time that those messages implemented as Red Samurai extension and uh, which is focused for business contextual information. In the background, it's using exactly the same App Center API as uh, we saw here in Connections Gallery for Activity Stream. And business contextual messages are posted exactly in the same schema uh, as the messages from activity stream. So messages from activity stream and uh, Red Samurai extension messages are stored in a standard way in the same schema. As you saw, I have sent invitation to my colleague to connect. Let's switch to another session web session and here um, inside the system as another user so let's go to connections gallery and check if I have any pending invitations to connect and I can see here that red someone invited me to be his connection so let's go to invite and manage connection section and here I can see one pending invitation from the user Red Someone. So let's say let's accept it and let's be friends. Once connection was accepted, I see this user inside my connection and I can send messages directly to this user. Or if I want to communicate on a business context. Then I go to my business data, I select 
business context and I can communicate here and I can avoid email communication on certain business question. Finally, let me show you how our extension is easily pluggable into any IDF web center system. Here under IDE connections, I have declared a file system connection which points to a repository with a Red Samurai library. I can, from GDeveloper, I can expand the contents of this library and I can view which IDF task loads are available. One of the task loads is uh, uh, command box. It's a main task load which allows to post, post and retrieve messages. Then we have a task load that shows number of uh, online users in the system. This is a task load which shows command statistics, how many messages were posted and by which users. Then there is a task load to display new messages based on uh, custom security. Plus there is a task load to show user profile, user profile picture and allow to upload new picture and it's based on Web Center API. And for example, if you want to plug in command box into ADF system, we just uh, need to reference this task law inside ADF page definition, like for any other reusable ADF task law. And then once it's referenced, we need to uh, map uh, certain properties for this task law. And uh, uh, two important properties are command object ID and command object type ID. First one, it specifies the key of business context. It specifies on which business object we are putting the message now. And the second parameter, it specifies the name of the business context. Additionally, we have option to provide a pointer to custom function which would retrieve a real name of the user in the system, let's say if you don't want to show uh, user ID, but you want to show user first name and last name as uh, ID inside messaging, we can do this and we can translate user ID into user first name and, and last name or uh, any other convention. So thank you for your attention and hopefully you would find this demo interesting.